Okay, this is a um, practice video for number four in book two, Long, Long Ago. Now, when we learned Long, Long Ago in book one, uh, it was in the key of A. And you had second finger was next to three on both your D and on all your strings. Um, but here we're in the key of G. Instead of having three sharps on a key signature and starting on open A, we have only one sharp in our key signature, and we are starting on third finger on the D string, which is the note G. But we're in the key of G here, and the only sharp you have is F sharp, which means that your, own, your second finger is going to be high on your D string and your G string. That's it. You will not have a high second finger on your A or your E because you will not be playing C sharps or G sharps. Also, you have a fourth finger that needs to be used in measure 2, 6, and 14. Please use your fourth finger. All right. So I'll play along with me. Here's my A. E. D. And G. And hopefully you're still in tune with your lesson. Okay. So let's do a slow playthrough of this. Now remember the bowing also. Um, this is, if you remember from book one, this is a slow run pony, jump pony bowing. The bowing you did in, in Twinkle Dome. We worked so hard on using a lot of bow and then tip, tip, frog, frog, tip, tip. Don't play like this. Not like that. You're going to use... Pony jump, pony bowing, but it's slow. All right, please remember this. That's real. That that's very important. Okay, so let's play the first four lines of the theme. Okay, ready? Start with third finger on the D string, and please use this fourth finger, even though I'm not there to fuss at you. You know. Here we go. Third finger on the D. Here we go. Ready and. Begin working on the bowing that we're going to be using on the variation. Now you will not be performing the theme with this bowing, but this is an opportunity to use the theme which we know or we're familiar with to work on the bowing for the to make the variations easier. And what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to play your quarter notes down bow, your eighth notes up up, and your half notes down bow with a retake afterwards. That's the rules. Okay, now when you do the down, now some of you are really, really, you know you're very stubborn about learning how to count. I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna have to just throw you in the pool and make you do it because you're so used to playing by ear or you're used to me. How does it go? It goes like, look, that's how it goes. Look at it and see how it goes, right? Um, just recall, just a little review, quarter notes have a black head Brown, black head, and a stem. That's all they got. Doesn't matter where they are on the staff, they have a black head and a stem. Half notes are, are not colored in, so you can see the line going through them if they're on top of a line. They're just a circle with a stem. They get two beats. Quarter notes get one, half notes get two. All right. Then eighth notes are the little notes that have the black head, the stem, and they have a little flag or tail, some people call it, a little little extension on the end. And when they are, are in groups of two, which they, they are usually, they usually travel in pairs, just like your swimming buddy. 
because they share a beat. So since each of them has half a beat, they get together so they have a whole beat and they kind of stick together generally. All right, once in a while you'll see one going rogue, but most of the time they are hanging on to each other. So you'll see them holding hands. If you look at the first measure right there, you'll see a quarter note, then you'll see two eighth notes, they're holding hands. Then you'll see a quarter note, and then you'll see two eighth notes holding hands. Next measure of a quarter note, two eighth notes, sharing a beat, holding hand, and then you see the half note. All right, so here's the bowing I'm going to want you to do. I'm going to want you to play down bow in the quarter, and then on the eighths, I want up, up. And the trick is that after you play that down bow, you've got to do the two ups so you get back where you started. So you can play. So if you use 18 inches of bow on your quarter note down bow, the, the, the eighth notes have got to be nine inches, nine inches. So you've got to get back where you started. Okay. Retake. Retake. And you do the entire piece that way. The entire first section. The entire the first four lines that way. Okay. So I'm going to do that with you. Now, when we do the variations, you will not have to worry about the retake, but one time. But we're not going to worry about that until we get there. All right? So let's try doing the entire theme with the practice bowing. It's going to be down, up, up. And make sure you're up. Make sure your down's long enough so you have room for those two nice up ups. Ready? Start about, oh, I'd say about six inches from the bottom of your bow. Here we go. Ready? And. Just what we've done so far on this video before you come back in with this piece, you're going to be ready, ready, ready to learn the second half without any problem whatsoever. Now, I did have one student this week who's learning this. You will remain, you will remain nameless. Um, but they were listening to what I was doing and they played it like this. No, that's not what I'm doing. No, 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 don't do that. That scares me. We're going to keep your bow on the string. It's not going to come off the string. It's just up, up. And we've done up, ups many times before. So that's how you're going to practice this piece. This is the, this is the very first thing we do with this piece. All right? So practice. And when you come in, if you're ready, then we're going to start the second part. If you practice that and take it as a challenge, I know sometimes you think, oh man, I don't want to practice this. I challenge you to be able to come into your lesson and do that. All right. See you this week. So I'll see you, I guess, this week. Bye. <laughs>